Hello everybody and welcome back to another GTA 5 LS Video Far tutorial. Today we are going to be teaching you how to install Axon Signal Body Cam and Dash Cam plugin. It's absolutely amazing and I use this every single time I stream. Love using this and I know y'all are going to love using it. I'm going to walk you guys how to install it and then also how to use the menu within inside the game to adjust your dash cam and also how to turn the body cam on and turn the body cam off. So let's go and get into it. Big shout out to Sergeant Nighthawk. Thank you so much for this plugin. So much. God, it's just amazing. So let's go and get into it. Very first thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and go to your GTA 5 main directory. So I'm going to go to Steam, Steam Library, right click on Grand Theft Auto 5, Manage and Browse Local Files. That's going to pull up our GTA 5 main directory. And now what we're going to do is go over here and download this file. So there's two things that you're going to need for this to work. So make sure, obviously, your LSPFR is up to date. And then uh, make sure you guys have Rage Native UI. Okay, so Rage Native UI is needed. I will leave a link down in the description. All you guys got to do, just go here, click on this. It's going to go ahead and download it. Open file. And then what you want to do is take these two files right here up at the top. So this file and this file and drag and drop into your GTA 5 main directory. Do not go over any folder. Do not go anywhere near the folders. Just go down here to the bottom or over to the side and you'll be able to drop that into your GTA 5 main directory. Perfect. So now that we have that in there, what you guys want to do is go ahead and start by downloading this file. So we're gonna go ahead and click download this file. We're gonna click agree and download and we're gonna go right here to main files. So we're gonna click download right there. We're gonna go ahead and let that download right there. Security check, I am not a robot, I am human. So I'm gonna click download right there. And let's go ahead, what are robots doing downloading this stuff? I, I'm just wondering. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and download this right here. So I use WinRAR to open up my zip files. If you guys don't have anything to open up your zip files, which I take it you do if you're this far, uh, with LSPDFR, just make sure you guys get WinRAR, W-I-N-R-A-R. You type that into your search bar and you'll be able to uh, go ahead and download that to be able to open these files. So I got it right here. We're gonna go ahead and click open file. And we are gonna go ahead and go right here to this folder. Grand Theft Auto 5, and these are the ones that we want. So look, Rage Native UI in here, they have that. I don't really mess with that. I always go to the main page to go ahead and download it just to make sure I have the most updated one. So I recommend always going to the main page and download it. I don't know that if this creator does, but uh, other creators always, uh, they don't always update it when Rage Native UI is updated and then you end up installing a uh, outdated one and it can mess your files up so make sure you always check that main page that i have linked in there to make sure you're getting the most updated one so what you want to do is just take this plugins folder drag and drop into your gta 5 main directory replace the files in the destination just like so if it asks you to you're just dropping them in there so you're not going to be asked to replace them but if it does just replace them uh, whatever files is needed um, so inside our plugins folder, you're going to see that we have the folder right here and then we have a couple other files in here. So perfect. So now what we need to do is get into GTA 5 and we're going to go ahead and show you guys how to work the menu, how to set it up for each vehicle and also how to use your body cam. So let's jump over to Grand Theft Auto 5. All right, so now that we're inside GTA 5, let's go and walk you guys through on how to use the body cam and also the dash cam. We're going to go and start off with the body cam. To turn the body cam on, what you want to do is press the letter O on your keyboard. So if you press the letter O on your keyboard, it's going to go ahead and turn your body cam on. Okay, so if you want your body cam off, all you have to do is hold the letter O down on your keyboard. And you're going to hear that noise right there, and that means your body cam is off. Your body cam will also come on anytime that you unholster your weapon. So if you want to holster your pistol or your taser, it's going to go ahead and instantly turn your body cam on. It also does it if you're stage three lighting on your vehicle. Okay, so if you go full stage three lighting on your vehicle, it's going to turn your body cam on. Now, this is a cool feature because they have it IRL for law enforcement all over the United States, where anytime that they unholster the weapon, unholster their taser or turn their lights on, it instantly turns a body cam on. Because we're only human and not everyone just can remember to turn a body cam on when they're, you know, in a situation, especially in a situation when you're pulling a firearm. So 
um, I absolutely love that. So just remember anytime that you go stage three lighting or anything like that, you're gonna see uh, your body cam is gonna stay on. You also hear a noise throughout your patrol. If your body cam's on, you'll hear the body cam noise to let you know it's still recording. And if I go on first person, you're gonna see the overlay in the right hand corner of the screen, okay? So for the dash cam, you guys see it right there. For the dash cam, we're gonna go ahead and walk you guys through that. So let's go ahead and head inside our vehicle. And what you guys want to do is go ahead and hit F4 on your keyboard, type in AXON, just hit tab and let it go all the way through. So uh, Axon signal offset menu. So what you wanna do is hit enter on that, hit F4 again. And what you wanna do is go through here and adjust your dash cam. So right now it's not gonna show your dash cam unless you go down, okay? So just go down one real fast and you could be able to set your dash cam however you like it. So if you like it really low, if you like it really high, um, if you want to go backwards, you could do it just like this. So you could just go backwards anywhere that you want it to be. You also have a field of view right here. So however you want it to go, I always do mine about right here. So do not hit backspace or anything like that. Adjust it to where you want it. Keep going down, keep scrolling down. You also have a dash cam or a camera that's inside the vehicle, which a lot of law enforcement have for the back seat, just in case the uh, suspect says anything that's incriminating that they can use in court or the suspects back here just beating their head or trying to bust through the window or does damage or even drops drugs down on the, you know, the sea or evidence. So that's really cool to have. Sometimes I like putting this camera up here. So I like actually putting it up here. So I'll let you guys see. So I like, especially when I do my streams, I like putting it up here where you can like see the law enforcement officer and it's kind of facing them. Um, but you got to adjust it the right way where it's not, you know, stuff's not, you know, stretching through it and making it look really bad. As you can see, I'm like interfering with some of the stuff like the computer over to the left. But you just gotta adjust it to the way that you like it. And then uh, you wanna do, go all the way down here where it says save settings, just like so, and you can save them settings right there. So that right there is just for this vehicle, okay? And this vehicle right here is gonna be sheriff. So that's set in my sheriff slot. So if I go and hop inside this one, this is sheriff two. So if I hop inside this one, the dash cam is going to be different. So for the uh, bigger vehicles like the Tahoes, Durangos, and Ford Explorers, the dash cam might be really messed up. Now this one's actually really good. So again, I'm going to hit F4. I'm going to type in AXON signal. I'm going to hit tab and I'm going to hit enter just like so. And we're going to go back through this. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust this. And we're going to go forward just like so. Go up or down right here. And we also have this one facing that way. So this is a really cool angle also. So it's up to you how you want to do it. So let me show you guys. Let me go ahead and save this. So anytime that you're in a vehicle, whether you're getting a new vehicle, whether you put a Tahoe in the sheriff slot, you're going to want to go to F4, type that in, and then you're going to want to go ahead and adjust everything for your dash cam. So I'm going to save settings. I'm going to close this out. So for you to go into your dash cam, you just want to go through your views, okay? So third person, first person, and then if you hit V one more time, it's going to go to dash cam. So you have the dash cam right here. So you see that there's kind of like a uh, staticky filter on it. I'm going to show you how to change that. We're going to have to exit the game. I'll show you how to change that in the folder here in a second. But for those of you that want that second camera, okay, to be able to look inside the vehicle, hold the letter C down. So if you hold the letter C down, you'll be able to look inside the vehicle and see what's going on there. So letter C as in Charles, and then uh, the letter V for switching through the views to go ahead and see your dash cam. So there you guys go for that. And I don't like this filter thing right here. It's a little static thing um, that's going on with the screen. I don't like that. I like it to be a clear picture. And that's what we're going to end up changing. Now you do see up in the right hand corner the overlay that they have in there. So the overlay is going to be there. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the body cam off and the overlay will still stay there for the dash cam. That is a new update with the uh, plugin. So again, big shout out to Sergeant Nighthawk. I absolutely love this plugin. And let's go ahead and exit the game. We're going to go ahead and show you guys how to take that, you know, just that filter off of it where it actually has a really clear picture. So let's go ahead and uh, jump out of the game and head over to that folder. So now that we're on the desktop, let's go ahead and walk you guys through the settings for the actual plugin. So what we're going to do is go to our GTA 5 main directory. We're going to go into our plugins folder. 
We're gonna go right here to this file. Don't go to the one that says offsets or overlay. Just go to this one right here and right click and click edit. So I'm gonna walk you guys through a lot of the stuff that's in here. So again, if you don't like the letter O being there, you guys can go ahead and change that. It says default key right here is the letter O. So you guys can go ahead and change that to whatever you want. Um, it just depends on what key you want it to be. You could change it over to um, Y. I don't really know what Y is used for while playing the game, but I just keep it the letter O because O does not affect me. So I'm just gonna keep it to the letter O. But if you guys do wanna change it, you can just do that by highlighting it, backspace, and just put the new letter in there um, or whatever key you want it to be. So the next one down is enable or disable dash cam systems. So if you put this to false, it will not have the dash cam for you. So that's up to you if you want it. I love the dash cam and that's why I downloaded it. So that's why we are uh, keeping it to true. Now you also have default key right here, letter V. Um, for the dash cam. So again, that's what you're gonna wanna use. So you guys have right here, the next one down is determine if dash cam overlay is enabled. So I keep it to true because I love the dash cam overlay. Um, that's what you see in the right hand corner of the screen up at the top. So I love the overlay, so I'm gonna keep it to true. You also have enabled dash cam on foot so that when you guys seen in the video, I was outside the vehicle, I was able to turn the dash cam on and see myself outside the vehicle. So that's really cool because you could still move while you're outside the vehicle. It's kind of it's kind of hard, but you could still move while you're outside the vehicle, which is really cool. And I love using it. Um, now, this is what I'm talking about for the filter on the screen, the fuzzy look to the camera. I don't like that. I'm not keeping that. So what I'm going to do is change this over to false just like that. So we're going to get rid of true and just put it to false. And now if we go down to the next one and you guys can keep it to true, that's up to you. If you like the fuzzy look to it, I like a clear picture to my uh, dash cam. It just looks so much better. So I'm going to keep it to, uh, I'm going to put it to false. So what we're going to do is move on to the next one, dash cam serial number. So if you want to change this up to any serial number that you want to use, you, all you have to do is just, you know, delete it. Just like you see right here where I have it highlighted and put your new one in there. And then you got interior uh, camera serial number. So you have that also, you could change that up. And then we have dash cam model. You could change the dash cam model up so you could put it to whatever you want it to be. So if we keep going down, you're gonna see um, dash cam showing local time. So I do want local time, I like that. And then we also have enable dash cam letter box. So you have the, um, the dash cam letter box is basically telling you um, what you see in the right hand corner of the, or the left hand corner of the screen, it, it goes above the uh, kind of mini, mini map. So that's up to you if you want to keep that. Um, we got the letter box also. So same thing right there. So that's interior and also the dash cam right there. Um, we got hide mini map and dash cam view. So I don't want to do that. I, I like the mini map. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this over to false. Because when I'm in the dash cam, I still want to see the mini map. And um, I want to be able to see it because if I'm chasing a suspect or responding to a call, it's like a GPS to me. So we can uh, go ahead and keep going. Um, body cam overlay is enabled. So en en enable body cam overlay. So that's the overlay that you see in the right hand corner of the screen when I was in first person. All right. So we got body cam serial number. You could change that up. Body cam um, offset. So don't worry about that. I mean, the, uh, it doesn't really matter for the offset because you're still in first person. So it doesn't really do much. So we got body camera model and then overlay first person only. Um, so if, if you wanted to change this, so say, say you're in third person and you wanted to change this where you see that overlay, even in third person, you could change this over to false. So that would make it where you can see it. If you're in third person, first person, doesn't matter what camera view, you'll still see the overlay up in the right hand corner of the screen. Me, I like it in first person. It looks better because obviously in first person, I'm in dash cam or not dash cam, but body cam. So it just looks more realistic. Body cam showing local time. I'm going to keep that to true. And then we got, um, so the vehicle enabled. So it determines whether or not activating stage three ELS lighting. So again, this is where I was talking about where if you turn your lights on and go full stage three, your body cam will turn on instantly. So if you don't like that, you could just change that over to false. That's up to you. Um, speed threshold to trigger. So while emergency lights are on, determines what speed at mile per hour triggers the body camera. So 
basically if you go full stage three um and start going pretty fast it's going to change it so i forgot to mention that so if you go full stage three and then start going uh, at a certain rate of speed that's when it turns the body cam on so um this one right here is at 15 you guys could change it over to whatever you want um so we're going to go ahead and continue on trigger delay at two display notifications again um you could turn the notifications on while operating the body cam. So if you turn this over to false, you won't get notifications in the left-hand corner of the screen. Um, so you could turn that off. Recording reminder beep. Um, so what this does, so what is that? Every two minutes, you're going to hear the beep that's uh, letting you know that the body cam is still on. So if you wanted to change that over to 60 seconds or 30 seconds, however you wanted to put it, you could change that up right there. Um, this is for the weapons. If you if you pull a weapon out, it's gonna you know instantly turn the body cam on. And this goes for the pistol, combat pistol, heavy pistol, stun gun, pump shotgun, and carbon fiber or car, carbon rifle. So um, we're gonna go ahead and keep going. Uh, check for updates. I'll always let you know about updates so you can put that to true. I uh, record a uh, Rockstar editor. So a lot of people ask me where these videos go. You can put them in a Rockstar Editor. Just understand that it uses a lot of storage. So while you're doing your body cam and you got stuff going on where, you know, you're in a shootout and stuff like that, that's awesome. Okay, but you got to understand that your body cam will turn on a lot while you're out on patrol, especially if it turns on while you're going stage three lighting to go in a certain speed or you pull your taser, or your gun. I mean, obviously your body cam should be on, but it does take a lot of recording space and that does affect your, you know, your computer and its storage so just be careful with that if you do turn that to true um but that will take your recordings that you have for body cam just like if you're in first person and put it to over to your actual um rockstar editor that you could get to in the pause menu um so you got body camera button sound so anytime that you press the button you're going to hear them loud sounds that you heard you could change them off you got the interaction animation. So every time that I press that button, you could see my character press the actual body cam, which is awesome. Um, display help messages. Um, you can have that to true. So the only thing that I changed in here was the uh, basically the fuzziness. So I changed that over to false and I also um, changed over to mini map. The mini map, I changed that over to false. So there's a lot of stuff to look through in there. Hopefully I explained it enough to for every single one of you to understand what I'm talking about. But um, for all of you that want to change over to false, do everything that I did or do whatever you wanted to do in here. Just go up to the top once you're done, hit file, click save, click X, go inside, back inside the game. And you guys are going to see that everything that you wanted is in there. So you guys are good to go. Thank you all for coming by and watching. Hopefully you all enjoy this. Do me that one favor. Smash that like button. Help this channel reach 100,000 subscribers. That would be amazing. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. If you are new to the channel, understand I have tons of tutorials on this channel to show you how to install tons of stuff for LSPFR to make your game feel that much more realistic. So hopefully you all enjoy this. Have fun. Enjoy. Peace.